Hi, my name is Matthew Scott from SHS International and the purpose of this interview today is to raise awareness of metabolic diseases. And to do that, we're joined by Marguerite Dietlefs. Thanks for joining us today, Marguerite. Hi, Matt. Hiya. And um, just to start the interview off with diseases. Well, it's a group of disorders, really, that um, affects specific nutrients. So the um, metabolism of a specific nutrient is affected. It can either be an amino acid, um, which is a building block of protein, right. um, fat, or carbohydrate. Right, and how many are there? Well, there are many disorders. Um, there's well over 600 diagnosed now, different disorders, and obviously that applies to various mutations of um, an amino acid disorder. Um, so there are quite a, quite a few. Quite a lot, yeah. Mm. And are they contagious at all? No, it's not contagious. It's an inherited disorder, right. which means that a person is born, born with it. and it's, it's part of their genetic makeup. Right, and, and how do people actually get these diseases? Well, it's um, their parents are usually carriers of the gene, um, and for a person to actually be diagnosed with it, obviously they go through a series of tests up at birth, um, because the screen, um, newborn screening has become so good nowadays. Um, PKU is something that's picked up really. PKU is, is short for phenylketonuria and that's picked up within the first few days of life. Other disorders takes a little bit longer um, and sometimes it's only diagnosed once a child has become unwell. Um, when they hospitalise and have further tests done, they actually pick up that they might have a met metabolic disorder. So it, it takes a bit of time sometimes to right. diagnose them. But it is usually when they are ch children, it's not usually found yes, later Yes, it's usually on. during the childhood years, um, if not during infancy, soon thereafter, but usually within the first year of life. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. And, and how do people treat these diseases? Well, they are very... Um, various ways of treating them. For a disorder like PKU, diet is the main treatment. Yeah. For disorders, amino acid disorders, um, they might have to have medication as well as a special diet. And the special diet is usually a low protein diet combined with the taking of a protein supplement which is free from certain amino acids. If it's a carbohydrate disorder, they'll have formulas during infancy that's manipulated so that they can actually have that, that specific formula. And then it's followed by a diet for life, really. Um, and the similar thing applies to a fatty, a, f a fat disorder or a fatty acid oxidation disorder where a specific chain length of fatty acids are affected. Right, okay, and can you tell us anything about it? the products that are used to, to deal with these disorders? Yeah, there's a wide range of products and SHS actually makes the widest range of products um, for metabolic disorders. Um, it ranges quite quite a bit from obviously phenylketonuria products which is free from phenylalanine right. to a carbohydrate um, product like galactamin 17 or galactamin 19 where the carbohydrate source is fructose to a fatty acid oxidation product, which is monogen, um, where the, the fatty acid levels are manipulated, so it's a high, medium chain fatty acid right. product. So as long as everyone's aware there are products out there for them. That's right, yes. Right, excellent. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us today, Marguerite. I hope everyone finds that informative and useful. I know I have. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. Thanks for having me.